of integral calculus using formula u to the n du that is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So example, the integral of 4 minus 3 sine 2 theta to the 4 cosine 2 theta d theta. So in our given, n here is equal to 4, u is equal to 4 minus 3 sine 2 theta. Derivative of u that is equal to negative 3 cosine 2 theta. Derivative of 2 theta that is equal to 2 d theta. So du is equal to negative 6 cosine 2 theta d theta. So from that, our du, that is negative 6, so we will have 4 minus 3 sine 2 theta to the 4. du is equal to negative 6 cosine 2 theta d theta. So we multiply negative 6 in our du and from our given. So we will have multiply negative 1 over 6 because negative 6 times negative 1 6 that is equivalent to 1. So from that we can examine our given. This is now our this one is our u this one is our du we have a complete form u to the n du so therefore proceed to the formula u n plus 1 so therefore you will have negative okay, 1 over 6 then you will have 4 minus 3 sine 2 theta raised to 4 plus 1, 5 over 5 plus C. So our final answer that could be equal to negative 1 over 30 because 6 times 5, then you will have 4 minus 3 sine 2 theta raised to 5 plus c so that is our final answer okay so let's have another example the integral of 2 cosine 4 theta minus 1 raised to 1 half sine 4 theta d theta. Okay. So, where n is 1 half, u is equal to 2 cosine 4 theta minus 1 du is equal to 2 negative sine 4 theta times 4 d theta du is equal to negative 8 sine 4 theta d theta because derivative of cosine that is negative sine so therefore you will have 2 cosine 4 theta minus 1 raised to 1 half du is negative 8 sine 4 theta d theta so negative 8 so multiply negative 1 over 8 so as you can see here this is now your u okay this is now your u then this one is your du okay. 
So, that is now a form of u to the n. That is u, du. So, from that, you will have negative 1, 8, 2, cosine 4, theta, minus 1, 1 up plus 1, that is 3 halves. So, over 3 halves plus C. So, your final answer here, that could be, this is equal to, this is 8 divided by, you will have 8 divided by 2, so you will have 4, so 1 over 12, you will have here. This could be equal to negative 1 over 12, 2 cosine 4 theta minus 1 raised to 3 halves plus C. So that is now the final answer. This is now the final answer. Okay. So we will have another example. The integral of cosine two t dt over 1 plus sine 2t raised to 4. So, here, this could be expressed as the integral of 1 plus sine 2t negative 4 cosine 2t dt okay. so because we have here so we can have here where okay, n that is negative 4 u is 1 plus sine 2 t okay du that is equal to Derivative of 1, 0. Derivative of sine, that is cosine 2t. Derivative of 2t, that is 2dt. So, 2dt. So, therefore, you will have the integral of 1 plus sine 2t negative 4. You will have du, that is 2 cosine 2t dt okay so therefore you will have you multiply 2 here so you will have 1 half so you will have 1 half okay so you will have 1 plus sine 2t plus 1 so, negative 3 okay. over negative 3 plus C. So, final answer that could be equal to negative 1 over 6. 1 plus sine 2t raised to negative 3. Plus C. So that is now our final answer. So we will have another example.
x squared ln of cube okay ln of cube 1 plus x cube over 1 plus x cube so over you here so our n here is 3 if you are going to look at that one so we can use here where n is equal to 3 u is equal to ln of 1 plus x cube so du that is equal to 1 over 1 plus x cube 3x square dx so you will have that one so that is now your du so therefore <laughs> the integral of okay we can rewrite this one ln cube 1 plus x cube that is our u our du is 3x squared dx over 1 plus x cube so if we are going to look at here what is being added is 3 so multiply with 1 third so this one this is now our du okay and this one is our u so we can have this complete form so our answer will be equal to 1 third ln of 3 plus 1 so ln of 4 1 plus x cube okay that is over 4 is over 4 so therefore the answer is 1 over 12 okay ln of 4 1 plus x cube this is plus c okay plus c okay. so that is now the final answer Another example. So we will have the integral of one plus e negative two y raised to one fourth. Okay. Then you will have e negative 2y dy. Okay, so therefore u not to any, our u that is equal to where u is equal to 1 plus e negative 2y du derivative of u derivative of 1 is 0 derivative of e negative 2y that is e negative 2y derivative of negative 2y that is negative 2dy 
so v u that is equal to negative 2e negative 2y dy so therefore this is the integral of 1 plus e negative 2y 1 plus e raised to negative 2y raised to 1 fourth okay then you will have e negative 2y dy okay so negative 2 okay so that is now our du so multiply negative 2 so negative one half okay so as you can see here this is our u this is our du so proceed to n plus 1, negative 1 half, 1 plus e, negative 2y, 1 fourth plus 1, that is 5 over, that is 5 over 4, 5 over 4, this is 5 over 4, plus c. 4 over 4 over so this is divisible by 2 this could be expressed as okay, divisible by 2 so 2 over 5 negative 2 over 5 1 plus e negative 2y 5 4 plus C. Okay. So that is now the answer. So this is now the final answer. Okay. So thank you.